Hi, I'm Paul Yost, Chief of Research and Development at YI Technology, the developers of Prio VR. Prio VR provides full body motion sensing for gaming and virtual reality. Prio VR is an easy to wear suit featuring high accuracy sensors that provide real time tracking. Every movement you make translates one to one into the game with no cameras, no special setup, and an unlimited capture space. This means that with Prio VR, you can move any way you want with no lag and complete freedom for a natural experience. Whether you have one, two, or ten people, Prio VR lets them all easily play at the same time in the same space. Prio VR is available in three versions the Core, the Lite, and the Pro, all of which are wireless and compatible with each other. Prio VR Core is a 12 sensor suit for the gamer who wants full body tracking, including the legs. This allows kicking, lying on the ground, rolling around, walking, sidestepping, crouching, and taking cover, all while aiming and shooting. Prio VR Lite is an 8 sensor upper body only suit, perfect for sitting on the couch. You can still punch, aim, shoot, lean around corners, dodge, duck, and more. Prio VR Pro is a full 17 sensor suit for the gamer who demands the most realistic experience. The Pro suit allows pointing of feet, shrugging the shoulders, and precise hip and torso positioning. It can even be used for professional motion capture. All suits include two hand controllers with action buttons, triggers, and joysticks. The joysticks let you easily navigate through large worlds without actually walking, while the suit still gives you the freedom to step, kick, crouch, and lie down whenever you want. The trigger supports a familiar shooting experience. Prio VR, whether used with a TV or VR headset, offers unprecedented and natural control. With this new unrestricted freedom comes the ability to experience games in a whole new way. Prio VR. Suit up. Game on. Hi, my name is Tunjay Chakman, and I want to bring virtual reality to the next level. I always loved playing video games and grew up with games like Quake, Doom and Duke Nukem. But just sitting in front of a keyboard and a mouse staring at a screen was not enough for me. So I began to think about a solution to walk inside of the game and started to build the first prototypes of the virtualizer in the workshop of my father. Nowadays head mounted displays like the Oculus Rift and Sony Morpheus allow you to enter virtual environments visually. But there is still the key problem of being unable to actually walk walk through virtual space, which the Virtualizer solves. The Virtualizer is an award-winning locomotion device for virtual reality that allows the user to move freely in virtual environments. It does so by combining a revolutionary low friction principle and high precision sensors with a special mechanical construction resulting in a new form of omnidirectional treadmill. For us, immersion is the most important thing in virtual reality. To reach optimal immersion, it is key to allow for a wide range of natural movements, achieve low latency and isolate the user from outside influences. The Virtualizer was designed to fulfill all these requirements. You're able to perform a lot of different movements like the following. Walk, run, backwards, strafe, crouch, jump, and even to walk in crouched positions. Moreover, we wanted to stay as user-friendly as possible. That's why the Virtualizer is a plug-and-play USB device. We made a lot of experiments to find a material that features a friction coefficient for an easy usage with socks. Using socks guarantees a whisper quiet operation and makes the device conveniently available for multiple users. The Virtualize is a well thought out solution to bring virtual reality into people's homes. Cybris Virtualizer is an exciting way to step into gaming and simulation. Not only can you walk around, 
that you can naturally climb in and out of cars, helicopters, hovercraft, any type of vehicle, and pilot it just like you were in the driver's seat. We are impressed with the way that it can be used without specialized shoes, as well as how it can be integrated with other VR hardware and software. This is just not real. Oh, my virtual hands, my virtual hands are taking off my wrist right now. For over 20 years, I've been working to perfect motion control that let you experience virtual reality. Sixth Sense motion tracking technology is designed to precisely capture the user's every move. Now I can actually reach out into the virtual world and pick things up with my hands. Enabling both hardware and software developers to deliver the most immersive user experience ever. We started with wireless controllers. We delivered prototypes to both AAA and indie developers, and they loved it. But the wireless controllers were too expensive to produce for a consumer product. So we had to move ahead with a wired solution. We licensed our motion tracking technology to Razer. And in 2011, they released the Hydra with two wired controllers. Now, after years of development, we've been able to make it affordable for everyone. I'd like to introduce you to the STEM system, a modular wireless motion tracking system that will set a new standard in 3D interface. When you're moving around in VR, you can't see anything outside of the virtual environment. So you need a wireless system so you don't get tangled up in yourself. You know, even doing this, that was something I, I really avoided doing with my regular Hydra because I don't want my base to fall. Station. Yeah, pull the base with it and be like, oh, oh no, what did I just do? The STEM supports up to five individual tracking modules that can be placed directly to the user's head, hand, or leg. As long as there's more tracking points and you can keep expanding the level of interactivity with your body. Previously, simple interactions like climbing a ladder suddenly become this really tense and visceral experience. The STEM creates new possibilities for full motion control in VR, not just walking, which we provide with the Omni, but also hand motions and independent gun tracking. So we can have people gesturing around as if they're waving a sword or they're, or they're swinging a bat or a tennis racket. The new modular approach being pioneered by Sixth Sense is exactly what we have been hoping for. It's going to enable us to extend gameplay over an unlimited range of different martial arts styles. The more immersive the experience is for players, the more dimensions you have and more tools you have as a game developer. So you might have to dodge to the left, dodge to the right, you can duck down in a game. Giving yourself bodily presence really opens up in terms of gameplay and really feeling like you're there. With the STEM, we've addressed the key challenges of motion tracking. Our system tracks the exact position and orientation of each STEM at all times. It eliminates drift and has no line of sight requirements and has the lowest latency on any consumer motion tracker. Hi, I'm Will Provencher, founder of Tactical Haptics, and I'd like to introduce a revolutionary new technology that will bring unprecedented levels of interaction and immersion to virtual reality and gaming. With the success of the Oculus Rift, we've seen the emergence of consumer VR. And with the recent Kickstarter successes of the Virtuox Omni and the STEM tracking system, you can now move naturally in VR. Despite these advances, touch feedback in virtual reality is still limited to buzzing and vibrating. And that's where our technology comes in. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering and I've been researching touch feedback interfaces for almost 15 years. We recently developed a way to provide force torque-like feedback in a motion controller that's significantly more engaging than rumble, but without the cost and complexity of force feedback. We call this technology Reactive Grip. Through the Reactive Grip, I felt the weight of a shield, the kick of a gun, and something as subtle as a fish biting on the line. And I can't wait to see where the community takes us next. Our technology conveys motion and force information by moving sliding contactor bars that are built into the grip. By moving these bars, the reactive grip can give the sense of an object's weight or of an impact. By moving these bars in opposition, it creates the feeling that the handle is wrenching or twisting in the player's grasp. This lets the player feel a bending fishing pole, the suspension of a vehicle, the stretching of a slingshot, or a medieval flail. We call it reactive grip because we track a player's hand motions and then react to those motions, providing the feedback that they would expect if they were holding a real gun, sword, or a fishing pole. Oculus Rift amazes people, allowing them to see the digital world. 
Wouldn't it be great if it's a way for you to touch the digital world as well? Introducing Dexmo Classic and Dexmo F2. Dexmo Classic is a wearable mechanical exoskeleton system that captures 11 degrees of freedom of the hand motion, while Dexmo F2 has an additional ability to provide digital force feedback. Most controllers only serve as an input device. Some do provide feedback in the form of vibration and claim to be haptics, but they are really not. Dexmo achieves force feedback by breaking the joint using our patent pending technology a miniaturized joint gear disc braking mechanism. During normal controlling mode, the exoskeleton can move freely. The rotational sensors in the joint read the finger movement and the users can use that data to control an avenger. But while collision is detected, the actuators activate and break the joint, preventing the fingers from further bending inwards thus creating a normal force on user's fingertip. In terms of hand motion capturing, Dexmo is the world's first commercialized hand motion capturing device that uses mechanical exoskeleton. Dexmo's exoskeleton transmits one's finger movement onto several rotational sensors, and the data can be transmitted directly to a device or back to a host computer, where our SDK performs our special kinematics algorithm to regenerate a hand model. After one year of development, we are proud to say that Dexmo is finally ready for release. Dexmo is different, it's not just another input device. It also serves as an output that breaks the barrier between the real world and the digital world, allowing you to interact with digital objects. You can not only manipulate but also feel an object that doesn't exist.